New numbers just into our newsroom show Kansas collected $2.6 million more than expected in taxes during the month of April. Yeah, this is the first time in a long time that the state has seen some good news as lawmakers deal with massive budget problems. Lawmakers struggled over the weekend and late into the night to plug a $290 million budget hole. No one wanted to increase taxes, so they took another approach. Start making cuts is what they decided. 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield joins us live over at our digital center with a close Closer look, Ariel. Mike, here's how this all played out. Lawmakers voted to take $185 million away from the state highway fund, cut about $17 million from state universities like KU and K-State, and delay a $96 million payment to the state's pension system. But that still leaves more than $80 million up to the governor to cut. Linda Seek. I love the fact that I work with kids every day and that every day is different. Has been teaching Spanish at Chani Mission East for 27 years. And every year, she's required to give 5% of her salary to the state to match for when she retires. You can't help but wonder when I do retire, is that money, which a good portion of it is my money, is there or not? That's because last night, state lawmakers burning the midnight oil voted to delay payments to the state's pension system to use money from state employees like Linda to bridge the budget gap. The plan? Repay the system in two years with extra money from the tobacco settlement or from the monthly revenue projections, which have only been higher two months out of the past 13. We are kind of his um, gift card or his credit card to fund things that need to get done. Other changes include cuts to the the state highway fund delaying a handful of projects and 17 million dollars to higher education meeting a potential spike in tuition for KU students like Melissa Somers. So I've definitely seen the devastation that students here have already gone through just at the rates that they are currently so to see them go up it's just going to be worse. The changes will not go into effect until the governor signs off. In the meantime Linda C can only hope for the best. You're counting on that. Counting to be able to have the day where um, you can enjoy life beyond the classroom or beyond the school. Reporting in Kansas City, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.